All right, YouTube. So today we're gonna to be doing some end links on an 06 WRX wagon. As you can see, that thing's pretty much gone, split perfectly in half. So we're gonna start with that. We're gonna be replacing it with some white line end links, brandy new, around 114. New bushings, comes with new hardware. And, uh, yeah, let's get started. Alright, so, the top bolts are going to be 14s. You're going to want a wrench and a ratchet, or two of both, just to get on both sides so you can properly um, loosen them as such. And the bottom should be 12s, so you're going to want the same size as that. And as you can see, it should just come pretty loose. These are rather old and pretty rusty. We didn't have any issues with them snapping. And they're, you know, not fighting us at all. And that's what it looks like, at least mine. As you can see, completely split. So, um, yeah, it was definitely way overdue to do these. Big ass glass is getting in my way. All right, all the hardware is out. Let's get the other half of this end link out. And that's the bottom half. <laughs> yeah. So you'll hear like a very loud squeaking noise pretty much when you're going over bumps or anything. And um, that's one of the many causes it could be, <laughs> which is Oh yeah, look at those fingers go. Some, oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Just requires a nice yeet. So that's the other one. Not as bad, but the bushings are pretty cooked. Probably the OE bushing still. And now you have enough play in your sway bar. Should be able to get those upgraded end links in there no problem. Eventually we are going to be doing new sway bars on this. Just haven't gotten to that point yet. As well as the bushings. says apply lube everywhere apparently just oh this is supposed to uh, be done with a vehicle with normal ride height however a drive on ramp or hoist may be used for easier access to the undercarriage wow. ah damn we're using a lift we should have hoisted it yeah that would have been a great idea <sighs> thanks white line i even just bought a new hoist for, the, for this <laughs> just for this occasion <laughs> Um, I don't know where, where to put the lube on. 
I would assume um, put it on the mating surfaces. So we we'll do like the outer edges of the bushing. Yeah. Take take a little bit of lube, just a little bit, if I can get it open. <laughs> Try not to make a mess. Everyone knows lube gets messy. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah. Oh god. Oh god. More lube you, than I needed. You might have to use your finger to spread it. Oh, so fancy. <laughs> they even give you a, a little lube spreading device. Built in lube spreader. I feel like I probably shouldn't be putting that there, but I'm going to do it anyway. We have way more tools than we need for this. I got excited. In, a, in another video, we'll be replacing some front axles. Cause uh, somebody's axle boots have almost left the chat. Yes. So they pulled a fast one on us. They upped the lower bolt size to a 13. I'm not gonna tighten that all the way. And they also raised the upper to, what was it, Joey? Uh, 17 for the nut and a 16 for the bolt. Tighten this one up just a little bit. So again, moving up the surface areas. Just real quick. Because mine doesn't close folder. Yeah, you know, mine doesn't close folder. I recommend lubing up the 12 first, the bottom side. Just because that's going to make everything a lot easier and a lot messier. Because as you can see, the last one made a huge mess. Got lube literally everywhere. And I'm kind of doing it again this time, but you know what I love? It's a little better. I love like have you seen they're called the constellation here? So the important, the essentials. Yeah. The essentials. Yeah. Yeah. What is it you want to do for constellation here? Which I guess I kind of have more ability to now that everything is closed.
tink. <laughs> Ta-da. 13. 